This is the Acupuncturist on Fire podcast. The only acupuncture podcast where you will hear from business insiders, fellow acupuncturists, and be inspired to be the best acupuncturist you can be. Now, here's your host, AJ Adamchik. Welcome back for another episode. This is your host, AJ Adamchik. Are you an acupuncturist who's interested in essential oils or taking your treatments to a whole nother level? Well, today on this episode, we're going to be learning about tea tree oil and how it can help you with your treatments and help your patients um, with, with their healing. And to help you learn about tea tree oil, I have the essential oil expert, Mark Gion. He actually was a guest on the podcast before he was, I, wanna, I believe it was the second episode, and he broke down three uh, oils for us. If you go back um, in the listing, you could totally hear about um, how Mark totally wowed the listener and totally took them, you know, all about these oils and everything. But today we're going to be learning about tea tree oil. Welcome to the show, Mark. Thank you for having me back. It's great to be here. All right. So, awesome. Yeah. So I thought as we're moving into the fall season, we would speak about an oil that's often used for common colds and an oil that's uh, often used in Chinese medicine to strengthen the lung chi tonify the lung chi and strengthen our wei chi. Um, before we go into the specific functions of tea tree, why don't we speak a little bit about the classifications of tea tree oil. So when we, just like when we're palpating a body, we need to start general and then move specific. This is what we're going to do for tea tree. So tea tree is a middle note. There are three levels of classifications based on notes, top note, middle note, and base note. For our purpose today, we're using tea tree, which is a middle note, and middle notes have the ability to tonify the chi. Because tea tree is distilled from a leaf, we need to understand that it's going to have a major function on our lung chi. So therefore, the general overall function of tea tree is that it has the ability to tonify and strengthen our lung chi. Awesome. Okay. And uh, the Aborigines of Australia used to actually crush the leaves of tea tree and inhale that, and that would be very beneficial for their headaches and their common cold symptoms. Now, for the acupuncturist, it's one of the best oils to strengthen the Wei Qi. Okay, so as we're moving into the fall, as we're moving into the colder months, many of our clients are going to come in with symptoms of the common cold: headache, neck pain, rhinitis, sore throat things of that nature. So for our purposes, a simple application of tea tree would be to take in a five milliliter container, take three to five drops of the tea tree oil, put the rest jojoba oil, and you can just gently massage it from lung nine all the way up and down the channel. And you'll notice wow. that people are going to have the ability to breathe in deeper and even if we put it on the chest, clients are going to have the ability to expel phlegm. Why expel phlegm with tea tree? Because in order to expel phlegm, our chi needs to be tonified, right? So by giving our body the chi to expel and move forward, tea tree has the ability to expel phlegm. And it's often paired with eucalyptus radiata top note for this purpose. So you, you, you combine it with eucalyptus, you said? Yeah, very often we want to combine it with a top note to expel phlegm because awesome. expel, because part of expelling phlegm is releasing the exterior, right? Releasing exterior, so exactly. All are going to have the ability to release the exterior. Top notes like eucalyptus radiata, peppermint are going to have the ability to act as an assistant to something like tea tree or rosemary to express this outwards fully. So one other area that uh, tea tree is very important in is that it has the ability to work with needles and, and uh, needles like pine and cypress and, um, and a resin like frankincense to grasp the lung chi. So tea tree has the associations with the meridians of the lungs and the kidneys. So one thing that we see a lot in the fall and the winter months is, at least in my office, more cases of inability to take a deep breath or symptoms as they call in the Western medicine as asthma. So frankincense is an oil that increases the depth of respiration and assist the kidneys in grasping lung chi, but it needs a partner. It needs a partner that tonifies the lung chi. So here we have tea tree that tonifies the lung chi, also has an association with the kidney, and we could blend this with frankincense to assist the kidneys in grasping the lung chi. 
Awesome. And, as a, and as a middle note, we could also add some like pine or cypress for that. That's very interesting. Yeah, that's so what so you know, for for the listener that you know is on this call that so you go back again and go through that like of really what we do that first thing we rub it on from lung nine all the way up the channel what to about lung five. Yeah, so to work with just simple and we're roots. taking a piece of cotton or Okay, so there's many different ways to do it. What what I like to do in my office, I would fill up um, a cup in about five milliliters of of uh, jojoba oil, put three to five drops of the tea tree in it, put a put a cotton ball about a half, soak it halfway, then massage it up and down the meridian. You can go all the way from lung nine all the way up all the way to one and back, and sort of back and forth. Okay, it's also very good to do in the shower. With a little bit of um, of sea salt, massage in the hands and massage up and down the lung channel if you're feeling any symptoms of the common cold. Awesome. And this we would want to blend with uh, eucalyptus radiata as well. Awesome. Okay, so so and then also too. So how about do you see yourself using tea tree oil um, on any certain points other than that whole channel? Does it? I, what does it do at a certain point? Does it? Um, you know, bring out anything special at any certain points? Is it more powerful at a certain point than a needle? Absolutely, I think so. Why? Because remember, one of the main functions of Wei Qi is to regulate the opening and the closing of the pores. So when we're actually putting an oil that has a function to close the pores, right? This, in a sense, is what tonifying is. We, we're closing our pores, we're creating a boundary. So tea tree has the ability to assist us in creating boundaries physically and emotionally. So it would be very beneficial to use on lung nine to assist in tonifying the lung chi. Now, awesome. if we need to work with expelling more phlegm, then of course we'd want to massage it more on lung five. If we're using it to release the exterior, perhaps more uh, lung seven. Awesome. This yeah. is amazing because, you know, even for myself, and I'm sure there's tons of listeners right now thinking about how this can totally there's the, especially me and you were in the Northeast of the United States and we see ton of this and I'm sure, um, you know, the, for the fellow listener on this call, she, you know, they're probably saying, wow, this is totally going to help me with my, my, my treatments coming up this fall because of everybody walks to the door with those symptoms that you were talking about, you know, runny nose, rhinitis, headache, uh, you know, nape of their neck is tight and tender. All these different things that this now this tea tree oil can just totally step it up to a whole nother level. Yeah. So real quick though, how about the a qual the quality of this tea tree oil? Where are we getting it? Why? Where should we get it? And why should we get it from a certain place? Or what are we looking for when? Because I know that not every essential oil is created equal, and we don't want to be putting, you know, yeah. a, a, a poor product on our clients. Right. So yeah, so the two main places that I get, and of course these aren't the only places that uh, you can buy oils from, but these are the places that I've had a great relationship with over the years. One is Sunrose Aromatics in Maine, and another one is Amplarage right here in the city. Um, and they're always tested to make sure that they have the correct amount of the chemical constituents that are, that are known to be in these essential oils. So um, one thing with the tea tree, it has to have the correct amount of 1,8-cineol and the correct amount of turpentine oil. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's okay. awesome. Uh, and also, too, you think about it. I know a lot of people out there, and I'm not. We're not putting these down, but these, um, like a Duterra or a Young Living, um, are they quality enough to be putting on our clients? You know, I really don't. It has nothing I to do with answer with that because um, I don't really use them. Okay. I know there there was a. There were a couple of cases of that I do know of people that were using Young Living oils, and they were tested, and they actually weren't uh, completely 100% essential oils. Okay, thanks for that. Um, and, yeah, exactly. Well, what, so, what I do want to say, though, we need to be very careful of when we read articles by people that are with Young Living or Duterra. Why am I saying this? I'm not saying that they're not educated. I'm not saying that they don't want to learn about essential oils. I'm not saying that they're good-hearted people. But some of the things I was just reading one today that was saying, literally, frankincense can be used in all brain disorders. First of all, had, I've been using essential oils for 13 years. How do, I wouldn't think about, okay, I need to use frankincense all the time if somebody has some kind of neurological disorder. We always need to be aware of 
who are the people that are writing these articles? What are they an expert in? Are they an expert in um, Chinese medicine? And they're an expert in, uh, in Western medicine, but they need to be an expert in something before they are an expert in essential oils. Yes, very true. And I really and believe that. That so, is what we have out there. A lot of people that are just experts in essential oils and mm -hmm. don't understand the medicine side behind it. And they're just reading books or it, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, thanks for that. I mean, that's unbelievable. And, you know, definitely for the listener, go back, check out Mark's first episode. I believe it was the second episode released on the podcast. Um, and also too, Mark has some huge things to share with you that he is coming up. Um, so Mark, why don't you share those with the listener? Yeah. So, um, next Sunday, I'm going to be uh, teaching at the Alliance of International Aromatherapists conference in Colorado. I'm very psyched about that. There's going to be tons of new people that I could share information about Chinese medicine and how it relates to aromatherapy. Um, I'm going to be at Prema Yoga in Brooklyn uh, on the 20th of this month doing a small class on uh, using essential oils for your constitution and working with the five elements. Um, uh, I'm going to be teaching a three-part dream class for those of you that are interested in dreams and how they relate to Chinese medicine and uh, also how they can really make huge uh, advances in your clinical effectiveness with your clients. Why? Because whenever we're working with the mind, we're always working with the emotions. We're always working with the storehouse of not only emotions, but of our beliefs. We work with transforming our beliefs, our mental body changes, our emotional body changes, and our physical body changes. Then um, in October, this is something I'm very psyched about. I'm going to be launching a product with Camo. We Camo Herbs in Chinatown. We we synced up together and we have a bunch of blends that are coming out uh, specifically for the TCM practitioner. So be on the lookout for that. There should be a launch party sometime in the mid or late October that I, it's going to be great. So you'll be doing like a live uh, um, launch party? Yeah, well, it's going to be at Camo. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a small lecture. Speaking awesome. About I'll definitely try to, if I can, if I'm available to get up there, I'm only an, about an hour outside of the city. So I'd love to get up there and awesome. you know, it'd be awesome. We can meet and we could definitely, you know, talk and definitely see these oils. And, you know, I'd love to, you know, throw them wherever we can put them up um, nice. and everything. All right. So, you know, anything else for the listener? Uh, yeah, why not? Tea tree also has the ability to uh, tonify uh, the kidneys. I really didn't mention that. So a blend that you can use for low back pain with, that's associated with qi deficiency could be pine and tea tree. Three to five drops of uh, three drops of pine, three drops of, of uh, tea tree, and about 10 milliliters of massage oil. Uh, massage on the back, use a warm, wet compress, and do a little bit of your body work, and voila. There we go. <laughs> so, that, so that just shows for the listener, you got to stay on the call the whole time because you get the best stuff at the last minute. <laughs> I can keep on going. I know, I know. No, we'll get, we'll get you on soon again for another, all right, for another oil, all right? All right, bro. I really appreciate it, and I thank you for coming on, all right? Thanks a lot, man. All right. This was AJ Adam Chick, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. This has been the Acupuncturist on Fire podcast with AJ Adamchik. To continue being inspired, head over to acupuncturistonfire.com and find AJ on Instagram at acupuncturistonfire.